game. Bob Lorenz and Jack Curry with you. Final game of four in Baltimore. Felt like it was right there for the Yanks to take it, but the Orioles win it in 10, 4 to 3. Earlier in this series, the Yankees lost the game to the Orioles, and Aaron Boone said, This one stings. I think this one's going to sting for the Yankees as well, Bob, for multiple reasons. They had 15 base runners in this game. They only end up scoring three runs. It felt like there were so many opportunities that they were letting pass by. They were three for 14 with runners in scoring position. And then some late inning plays that they didn't make and that the Orioles did make. And even some late inning decisions that you could question as to whether those were the wisest choices. They always say that the best team wins the game. The Yankees believe they're a better team than the Orioles, and I think they let this game get away today. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Want to get back to the starter today, Jordan Montgomery, trying to build on what Kluber and Herman did before him in games two and three of the series, and everything looked good as he was grinding through five until he got to Mancini in the sixth. Yeah, the Mancini at bat is one that is probably going to keep Montgomery awake, and we talked about this earlier during the cut in. First of all, he threw him a flat cutter, and Mancini takes it out for a game-tying home run, Bob, but it was all also, the sequence that he used in that at-bat with Mancini, it was the identical sequence that he had used in a previous at-bat. Cutter, change-up, cutter. And I think Mancini's a smart enough hitter in that sequence to think, well, if he did this in the last at-bat, maybe he's going to do this in this at-bat at well. That ties the game, but then this becomes a bullpen game, Bob, and the Yankees have such confidence in their bullpen, they should believe even on the road this is a game they could win, but in extra innings, it ends up going in the Orioles' way.